I do want to bring up Mel Tucker here because since we last spoke, you know, you and I both have said that we believe that Mel Tucker would take the LSU job regardless of, of whatever else were to happen, right? Whatever else is open. If he were offered the job, he would run from Michigan State on foot down to Baton Rouge. And now I'm kind of questioning this a little bit, and, and maybe I shouldn't be. Mel Tucker has signed a 10-year, or not has signed, excuse me. It is being reported he has a contract offer, an extension offer for 10 years, $95 million guaranteed. That is a lot of money. I mean, just $9.5 million a year, and it's all guaranteed. This is definitely showing that Michigan State is fully invested in their football program. However, uh, how how often can you have these kinds of seasons at Michigan State, right? Like, I don't know. It's it's good financial compensation for, for what he's doing, right? But you got to question, is it lightning in a bottle? We, this is the only successful season that he's really had. He, he was building something at Colorado. He was only there for one season. Obviously, last year, COVID season at Michigan State, you, you got to wonder about giving this much money guaranteed to a guy. But if you don't want to lose him, this is just the price of doing business. I am kind of just shocked that Michigan State would offer this kind of money. What, what are your thoughts on it? That's, you're, this is just the ground floor of what new money is going to look like in college football. Your perspective of what you think a good contract is or a bad contract is has to change. Okay? It just has to because it's about to get blown out of the water. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, LSU... He's getting this offer because because Woodward has floated out eight years, $100 million. That's 12-something a year. Okay? Yeah. Fully guaranteed. Well, all these coaches' co- contracts are guaranteed. Well, so so the buyout... You don't, you don't have to stipulate that. Right. No, no, no. But the buyout has been significantly less than the price of the full contract. Like, if you work for this long, then you get this much money. If you get fired, then you get this much money. That's how it's always been until Texas A&M signed to Jimbo. And when they brought in Jimbo, it was a 10-year, $75 million deal, which was fully guaranteed, and there was no buyout on the back end if he ever wanted to leave. And that's what completely changed the game. And now LSU is talking about the same thing, uh, where it's eight years, $100 million, as opposed to 10 years, $75 million. But the Jimbo deal that, that just got redone before the season started was 10 years and $94 million, fully guaranteed. So, I mean, it's this is just, the, like I said, the price of doing business, right? Yes. It's just unbelievable, the amount of money. And it's, yeah, you're right. It's it's new money, these TV contracts, the playoff money. Like, all of this is, it's all going into football. Michigan State had to ride the bus to their most recent basketball away game uh, because Tom Izzo said that the AD asked if they could uh, schedule some bus games so that they don't have to spend as much on flying and and then we turn around and Mel Tucker's being offered 10 years and $95 million guaranteed. It does kind of crack you up a little bit. I did see something interesting. So so Mel Tucker has not signed this, right? Hang on. Let's, let's talk about that part for a minute. Okay. This is not new. This just got leaked out recently, the details. This contract has been on his desk for over a month. This This didn't happen this week. People are talking about it like, hey, it's already a done deal. He already signed it. Or B, it happened yesterday and Michigan State's moving and shaking right now. No, 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 As soon as his name came up at LSU, this immediately got dropped on his desk. Okay? This is over a month now he's had this and he has not signed it. So let, that has to be taken into perspective when you're talking about it. Yes, yes, 100%. Uh, it was offered to him after the LSU job came open when he was first linked to the job. And so, of course, again, over a month, it has not been signed yet, and that is a lot of money to leave just sitting on the table. You go back and look. Now, Reddit College Football on Twitter actually shared this out and said, you know, this is probably nothing to worry about. But when Mel Tucker was at Colorado, <laughs> there are reports. This is from February 9th of 2020. This says, last weekend, Tucker, George, and other school administrators were part of a three-day tour of booster gatherings in Southern California, where at one point... Mel Tucker called Colorado a, quote, destination football job. And then, of course, the next week, Michigan State rallies to hire Tucker away from Colorado. And now, of course, Mel Tucker has gone on the Draymond Green show 
and he says that Michigan State is a destination job, which is the exact same language that he said when he called uh, he called Colorado that before he left the week later. Uh, look, the better job is Baton Rouge. I mean, LSU is significantly a better job than Michigan State. But, you know, if if LSU doesn't want to pay that same price, I totally understand it. But uh, you just going to have to pay somebody they, they crazy won't money. Be, they won't want to pay that same price. LSU's floating out numbers that dwarf that, okay? Yeah. It, it's, it's, he won't be the guy that they want. Yeah. If they don't sign him, if he don't go to Baton Rouge, it's because he wasn't the guy they want. That's kind of what it seems like. That is certainly what it seems like. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.